All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sally Face here on the channel. We're still going through Chapter 5. We now have the left arm of Sal Fisher, which is some sort of laser beam light sword in our hand because Ash is now sharing a body with Sal's soul somehow through the magic of the uh, Pyramid of Asintma. And I think now we need to go uh, bitch slap a bunch of cultists and uh, hopefully separate their souls from their bodies. Because uh, that's what I want. I want to separate some soul from some body. Oh, but I can't go that way? Alright, cool. I'll just kill everybody over here then. Can't kill anybody on the right? Okay, I'll kill everybody on the left. That's how we go. That's how we do. Where is everyone? Yeah, I want to slap some cultists. Bet you they're in the inner west hall. Uh, open the door with your fist! Ugh, no lock can withstand the power of Sal Fisher Fist. The Sally Fist. Ugh. Oh, the center chamber is all geared up. The center chamber is sealed shut. How are we going to get in there? I think I can get us in. Oh, you mean with the sword of revealing light? Oh, oh no, no. Uh, uh, Sal actually is a uh, ghost boy now. Oh, all the skulls on the wall. How beautiful. Perfect. Ah, <sighs> so... What the frickin' frick frack? What is this? We're like a little troll doll. Notes? The Devourers of God. 1663 to 81. The first prophecy brings small group of natives together, a faction of the Grey Tribe. Colonists arrive in Knockfell. A marriage between Sitlali Grey and Wesley Rosenberg unites the two groups. Original temple is built. 1703. Phelps Ministry is constructed to hide the temple, used to indoctrinate followers and gain members. Another ceremonial marriage between the Grey and the Phelps families. Specific details unclear. Mid-1700s, the prophecy about the Child of the Abomination is spoken and becomes a part of their doctrine. Preparations for his execution begin. 80, 1887, Addison Apartments are built, temple expanded, cult growing in numbers. 1905, Terence Addison is born. His parents made a deal with the council, and so the boy was blessed from birth to be the entry point of the Endless One. The council secretly fed him human flesh. This information is withheld from general members. 1906, a new prophecy says that killing the child of the abomination will bring a man from the sky, who they believe is me, who will greatly help the devourer's efforts. 1917 to 32, Terence's soul is destroyed by the Endless One and his parents are murdered. The boy's appearance starts to change, so the council locked him in his room. To keep their secret, they are able to draw power from the beast. 1938, the first shadow is successfully summoned. The cosmic predators are relentless. My studies show that they can be contained and even destroyed by strong enough sources of ultraviolet light, but only when not possessing a host. 1983, initiation. Okay. What's in the safe then, dude? Oh, I guess we don't have a safe combo for it yet, huh? Uh, three, nine, five. Nope, guess not. What the hell is this thing? It's an, it looks like an incubation pod of some sort. I like how this is all pictures of stuff that, like, he made. So that's one. Okay, hold on. So that's two. Hold on. So we can we can probably figure this out if we just start flipping switches. Right? Okay, so we can have that one on. That one on. And then what if we slide this one around? Hey, we got it. <laughs> now what did I do? What the hell is this thing? The center chamber should now be open. Oh, that was the thing for the center chamber. Oh, I found a secret door. Found a secret door. Gonna go in it and find all the secrets. Gonna go in it and find all the doors. Oh, I have all of these things. Ha ha ha. So let's see here now. What does this do? Hold on. So we need to go. I think this is how we, how many times we have to press the hexes, right? So, the blue hex has, is one. The uh, purple hex is two. The white hex is three. 
The red, uh, uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. The green hex is four. And the black hex is five. But we can't reach the black hex. And then the red hex is six. Okay, so let's just try that. Okay, so I tried pressing them in equal, like in the number of that they're supposed to go. But we can't touch the black hex, though. So it's just like the black hex is supposed to be number five, but we haven't touched the black hex. So one, two. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's blue, purple, white, green black and then red okay that's odd <laughs> yeah because we can't touch the black hex for some reason oh no did we not find did something happen and we didn't it didn't count finding the the hex because we found the black hex with the green oh oh Okay, I figured out what the huge issue was. It was because I had started the game over after saving after Ash had got the Blade of Osiris infused with Sal's soul and everything. And so what had happened was we didn't actually touch the graveyard uh, hexagon, even though we did. We did, but the game didn't save that we touched the graveyard hexagon that we found before we came here. So I had to go and replay through the whole thing. It took about 20 minutes. Now we have found every hexagon and so we can try and solve the puzzle. Because I'm not I'm not going to chomp out and be like, well, you do it later. No, we, we got all the hexagons, damn it. We did. And so now we're going to do it right. So blue hex is first. Purple hex second. White hex third. Green hex fourth. Red. Oh, no, it was black fifth. Dang it. All right, hold on. I had the notes written wrong. So it was blue, purple, white. Blue, purple, white. Uh, green black red green black red ah what okay so one one two three one two three four two three four five one two three four five six no huh so there is a color code here but here's the thing we also had uh, it's a blue hex with one white. So, it's a blue hex with one white. So, what does that mean? Does that mean the first color is white? And then the second color is black? And then the third color is blue? And then the fourth color is red? And then the fifth color is green? And the purple color is sixth. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. So we now have achieved Und Secret. Mmm, I like secrets. Don't wander so far, Sally. This is door five, too, so we don't know what's going to be in here. What the hell is that, dude, man? Oh, fuck! I spent so much time blaming myself for what happened. I never stopped to thank you. You sacrificed yourself to protect me. You were the best person I ever knew. Every day of my life, I've tried to live up to your sacrifice. The dog man. The dog man's the dude who killed our mom. Oh, shit. So it wasn't like a car accident or anything, because I, I always just assumed it was a car accident because of the, the, the intro of the game, but... It was somebody in a dog man face? What? Alright. I guess we'll, we might learn more. Leave? Uh, oh no. Do we have anything that might be pertaining to this safe here? I don't think we have anything to the safe. Oh, 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 I think I know, I think I know the combination. It's 1983. One, nine, eight, three. There we go. Figured it. <laughs> it was the only entry that didn't have all that much writing. 
Lisa, I know that you and Larry must have hate me for leaving. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. It shattered my heart. Maybe it doesn't mean much now, but I need you to know that I left to protect you both. I thought I could keep you safe by keeping it all secret. I've gotten mixed up with dangerous people. They were threatening to hurt you if I didn't join them. I believe they're also responsible for our stillborn daughter, though I haven't found hard proof of that. Now they're planning a mass murder of children across the globe. They think these kids are a threat to them. I have to stop this from happening. This damn cult is dealing with powerful forces they don't understand. I've been secretly sabotaging their efforts where I can, but I'm going to need to take greater action to stop the killings. It's likely I won't survive this. I hope that you and Larry can forgive me. Above anything, I hope that you will both have long and fulfilling lives and that you will find happiness. I love you with all the pieces of my broken heart. Jim. Oh, no, we got the secret, secret of knowledge achievement. No, I don't want this knowledge. It's sad knowledge. It's sad, forbidden, depressing knowledge. I don't want it. I mean, I want it. I want it real bad. But I don't want it. I never asked for this. Not like this. Not like this. Do I get to slap some cultists now? I'm sad. Oh, shit, fuck. There's Todd, and they're dripping blood down into... I mean, that's kind of a very terrible way. I mean, it doesn't even look like there's any, like, indents or anything to help pool the blood. And they're all necky. These peeps are all naked. I'm gonna have to blur that. I'm gonna have to blur the naked. Alright. Just trust me on this one. They naked. Archbishop Kenneth Phelps. We've been expecting you. What have you done?! The final dissension is upon us. On this night, mankind will triumph over God. You killed them. And many others. We are destined to be so much more than... Shut the hell up, you psycho! I'm gonna end you! I thought you might feel that way at first. Oh, is it, is it combat time? <laughs> I turned him into a pile of goo. Yeah. I'm, oh, this is just going to fuel the blood thing, isn't it? Whoa, Come here, baby. I'm going to hit you with the blade of Osiris. Heek ya. The wind-up is heavy. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Todd. Don't worry. We're going to get you out of this. Sal, is that you? Oh, wait. Is that not Todd's face? I thought that was Todd's font. I guess it wasn't. I guess it was peach and not orange. Oh, how dare I d mistake the color peach for orange. <laughs> oh, shit, it's Larry. That was Larry's brownish. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. What happened? It's the ghost of Larry. When the three houses burned, I was lost in the void. Or when the tree house burned, I was lost in the void. I spent so long there, dude. Like, really, really long, man. I can tell. I like the beard, though. <laughs> but yeah, there was this weird tree. The roots were all cosmic -y and stuff. Creatures gathered around it and worshipped it. They called it the Mother Tree. I'm still not really sure how, but it helped me find my way back. I think I've seen that or felt it before. You're connected to it. We all are. Larry, about Lisa, I... Dude, you don't need to say anything. I know. But I... It's okay. Seriously, all their souls have been... <laughs> would have been destroyed. I'm glad your soul didn't dissolve in the void. Not yet, at least. Though Todd was right about the whole second death thing, souls fade into the void and become nothing. It sounds brutally final, but I didn't learn much beyond that. Do you know how we can save Todd? I think I can get him out. I'm surprised he lasted this long. Todd's got a strong soul. He always had a strong will. There we go. See, he always had a strong soul. Oh, I have something for you. I found it in the void. Oh, <gasps> it's my guitar! I love guitar! Leave Todd to me. You need to hold back the shadows. They're starting to seep in. Gotta protect the realm, dude. Okay, be careful, Todd. Or Larry. <laughs> you too, bro. Yes, I've got a blade of Osiris and a freaking guitar of ethereal sound. They're here. Oh no. Oh wait, hold on. What is this? The Deadstone is an ancient relic that was crafted by the some old witch by the some old witches or something. To summon its power? Alright. I want to get out of here. There we go. Eat my ass, you red-eyed bitch. <laughs> nice. We shocked it with the purple. 
I like it. Oh, damn. This guy's going to drop down on me, huh? You want to drop down on me? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Ash has been consumed by the darkness. I didn't move fast enough. All right, so we got to bait it. Bait it and... Come on. Bait it and... Oh, wait. Do I have to slash it? Ugh. Yeah, suck it, nerd. Bait it and move. Bait it. Dark Souls. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Oh, I can't get a double? So I guess I just have to kind of stay under it enough. And then it'll drop. There we go. Ugh. I thought I had to be quicker than that. Oh, shit. What the? I won't let you do this. They all sound the same. Remember, they're all cultists. Your betrayal is not surprising. You always were a disappointment, Travis. The feeling is mutual, you fucking prick. It sounds like we're talking to ourselves because we are. You know you can't stop this, son. Oh, is that his dad? Travis Phelps? Kenneth Phelps? Travis! Thank you, Travis. Ashley, get out of here now. It can't end like this. We have to... I have to... Uh-oh. Detonato? Uh... Uh... Uh, but Sal's got the... Do we trust in Sal or no? Uh, I gotta trust in Sal? No? That was probably game over, right? Oh no, here we go. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna purple juice these things until they die. Come on, Larry. Come on, man. <gasps> the purple beam. I got you, Todd. Hold on, buddy. <gasps> yes. Pixel jams. Yes. Get rocked into the void, creeps. Oh, I'm good at music. I'm good at killing. I'm good at killing with music. You cannot take down the rock. The power of rock compels you. Power of friendship and love. How did I get all three? Don't care. <laughs> that was a triple kill, baby. Oh, we're gonna go. Oh shit! They're seeping into the real world. Mm. That's, that's 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 my uh, that's my grunt of killing evil. Is mm. I love it. I love swinging my big old sword and killing things with my hand. Feels good to kill demons with my hand. We are everlasting. Ah. Nope. I'm not gonna press the C4 button. Not not gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep rocking out until I win. Until life and everything. Oh, I have to hit the, uh... Oh, game over. Why is it game over, Roo? Did I get hit by the tentacles? I think I got hit by the tentacles. There we go. We gotta wait, because, yeah, it'll go out like that, and then it'll spear out, and then that's when we hit it with the rock. So we just gotta be careful, that's all. Come on, where are you going? Come on. Ooh, all right. Double hit. Ooh, 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 I did it. I d ooh, huh? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? What's this, chairs? Ooh, Sally, you ain't looking good, boy. You got that weird claymation going on. The Devourer of God. The creep. No, what, what voice should we give the Devourer of God? The creator of all things. <laughs> just give it Miranda's voice and just ruin everything. Uh, who should we give it? The creator of all things decays in our bowels. Its power is surging through our veins. I don't believe you. A broken soul resisting what is inevitable, yet we are eternal and have surpassed God itself. You will soon become one with the Endless. We are the final stage of all humanity. Man, you look claymation. Ain't happening. I will never join you and your terrible graphics. <laughs> Come on, step on it. Pop it. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hit him with the mouth open. Oh, guess not. Guess that, guess, guess that wasn't it. There we go. Gotta be fast about it though. Damn it! Okay, so we gotta learn the pattern. Okay, get over here. Blast it. Blast it. Blast it. All right, so we don't have to learn the pattern. We just have to take our opportunities when we can get them. So they're only going to come out from the sides now, I'm sure. Here we go. And rocket! Yeah, we're falling down the pit, eating all the sound waves. 
going through every dimension. Oh. Get out of here, Tentacles. I'm going to rock you. I'm, I'm going to do the, my ultimate technique, the spin and win. You can't beat me. I got the ultimate technique, baby. I spin. No! Game over. <laughs> it's because I was using the D-pad and not the, the control stick. Oh, come on. That was... Come on, the, the spin to win technique, baby. You gotta spin it. Now, now, okay, now my directional pad wasn't even working. Come on. Come on, where, where are you at? I know where you're coming from. I can see into the future. I know where you're coming at me from. Coming from odd angles. I know where you come. I can see into the void. I can see the future. I can see your end. Oh, damn. Take that, eyeball. Take it. You don't deserve to have sight. Only the beautiful and the ones with the power of rock should have sight. Oh. There we go. All right. I love it. Rocking out as our awesome ghost form. Oh, man. Uh, we're not uh, doing so well. Oh, no, no. Okay, we're good. Oh, shit. On all three fronts, baby, coming together to blast the Eldritch Abomination. In both the physical realm, the spiritual realm, and the void. Nothing shall survive. I heard some splatty sounds. Like, uh... Oh, no, that was the, um... That was the whole place blowing up. Okay. Todd? Hey, are you okay? Larry? It's good to see you, Ash. I, uh, <laughs> like the new look. When did you get so old? It's a long story. When did you get all glowy? <laughs> long story. It's over. We did it. Why does it feel so bad? Are you sure it's over? Seems like it, but I just... <gasps> Todd! He, awi he alive! Todd, you're alive! Where? What happened? I think we stopped them, Todd. I'm glad you're okay, dude. Good to have you back, Todd. We'll fill you in on the details later, after we get you patched up. There's a lot to talk about. I just want you all to know how much you mean to me. I love you guys so much. I was lucky to know you. I'm glad I got to see you all again. We love you too, Larry. Are you all right? I'm sorry. I don't have much time left. Larry. I didn't think I'd be afraid when I just wish I had more time. No! What? No! Where did he... He can't leave again! We just caught him back! Was that... Larry? Yeah. Maybe we'll see him again someday, on the other side of Oblivion. If there is such a place. Is that the end? Or is this, like, legit Sally Face over? At the end. Uh, all right. Uh, we did it. So that didn't... I thought it was going to be at least one more episode, but, uh... Turns out we've done it. We've completed Sally Face, the entire story. Let's, uh, let's just let the special thanks roll. Or at least there's the screen for special thanks. If you want to go through and read everybody's name and give each of them thanks for the beautiful, beautiful, wonderful stuff that has come from Sally Face please feel free to do so. If you have not purchased this game yet, I am going to ask you that you do, or at least support it with fan art, or something. Whatever you can do in your power, support this game. Support Steve over at, at Portable Moose on Twitter, and everywhere you can, really. They, they, he has merchandise. Go to, go to his Twitter and find merch if you want to find, like, the Sanity's Fall t-shirt. Right? The uh, the t-shirt that Larry wears, you can get that. But just support this game in any way you can, because this was a wonderful, beautiful little piece of... Just a wonderful, beautiful little piece of game. Uh, an indie darling, for sure, that's taken quite a few years to come to fruition. But I think I might go back through, maybe like a bonus episode, and see what happens if we detonate the C4... And if nothing happens, I won't make a video on it. If it just goes to game over, I won't make a video on it. But if there is a video, you know something happens. So thank you all for joining me on this wonderful, weird adventure through this crazy game. And I hope, I so hope that more games like this come down the pipeline sooner or later because we need more games like this. 
We need more artistic games like this, ones that are weird, that are charming, that are darling, that have maybe not necessarily something entirely to say, but something to show, something to tell us, you know? Because sometimes things get wrapped up in what they want to say to you rather than things they want to tell you. You might think that's the same thing, but when somebody tries to say something to you, they're usually trying to convince you of something. When somebody wants to tell you something, they're usually pouring their he heart out in order for you to accept what they have to say. I think that's the real difference when it comes to art and things like that. And we certainly have been seeing a lot of games recently and uh, TV and movies that have been trying to say a lot of things at you instead of trying to tell you things through the heart of the art. Ah, but once again, we have reached an end of another series. I know this one was uh, sort of segmented and spliced, but it was a good. It was like having a nice slice of cake every now and then instead of eating the whole thing in one night, you know? So thank you all for joining me for this wonderful, beautiful game. And until next time, take care, everybody. <laughs>